Hi everyone, congratulations on making it to day number five. Today's practice is one of my personal favorites. It's a full body flow with a lot of focus on balance. If balance is something that you are still working on in your practice, please feel confident to stop along the way. Tree pose comes up if that's where you stay and focus your attention today, that is perfect. If you feel like the progressive options are serving your body, you give them a try today, knowing that the ground is always there, safety first. When you are ready, we will roll out a mat and get started here together. Coming to the top of your mat here to kick off day five, we're going to start in Tadasana standing mountain pose. Palms face forward, the spine is tall, eyes shut. Start to breathe in through the nose and breathe out that same way. With your next inhale breath, sweep the arms overhead, look up, exhale forward fold, come down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to plant the hands, step the feet back, and then move through a vinyasa of your choice. Exhaling to lower down, inhaling to lift the chest. Exhale, we meet in downward facing dog. Nice work. Pedal out the knees when you get here, bending one and then the other. And then find stillness. Inhale, reach the right leg high to the sky, bend in the knee, stack the hips, simply opening. Exhale, downward facing dog. On to the left, inhale, reach the left foot high, stack the hips, bend the knees. Exhale, bring the foot down, downward facing dog. Inhale, onto your tippy toes, step or hop to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Inhale to stand, sweep the arms high. Exhaling, the palms touch in front of heart center. Getting into balance here, grounding into the right foot. Draw the left knee in towards the chest. Catch your shin with interlaced fingers. Option to stay there if that feels good, or start to bring the left foot to the inner side of the right thigh. Coming into tree pose, if that's too intense, bring the left foot to the inside of the calf muscle. Reaching the arms towards the sky or ceiling, big breath in. And then when you're ready, taking an exhale breath to hinge the left leg behind you, coming into warrior three, extending the arms out ahead, Nice work. With control, step the left foot down, coming into crescent lunge. Nice work. We'll get some practice with that today. Every visit will feel a little bit more comfortable. Holding here in crescent lunge, take a great big inhale through the nose, reach those fingers tall. With your next exhale breath, send the left arm behind you, right arm ahead. Exhale. Inhale, arms come back up, switch sides. Just two times on each side, inhale to come up, exhale, one arm forward, the other back, twisting from the core, stay strong in your legs. And then when you're ready, hands frame the right foot, plant them, step the right leg behind you before moving through a vinyasa of your choosing. Meeting us in downward facing dog, take a moment, pedal out. With your next inhale breath, reach the right foot high to the sky, stack in your hips. You can stay here or play with flipping your dog if that feels good. Draw the right foot down overhead, left hand stays on the earth, right arm reaches up, arch in the back, active right hand, beautiful. When you're ready, unflip your dog, right leg is high just for a moment and then meets in downward facing dog. On to the left, inhale, left foot high to the sky, stack your hips, you can stay here or with control, slowly drop the left foot, flipping your dog, arch in the spine, shine the fingers on the left hand. With control, unflipping your dog, left foot high for a moment, and then downward facing dog, great work. With your next inhale, onto your tippy toes, hopping or stepping to the top of your mat, coming to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhaling to fold. Inhaling to sweep the arms high to the sky, reach up, stand up, exhale, hands to heart center. Left foot stays this time as you draw the right knee in towards the chest, squeeze it in. Option to stay here if this feels good, or eventually we'll progress into tree pose, right foot into the left thigh, or maybe into the calf or shin space. When it feels good, reach the arms all the way up, grow your tree. 
and then with control, start to hinge the body forward as the right leg shoots behind, coming into warrior three. The first time always feels rocky. Be patient with yourself, breathe and find strength. Eventually stepping the right foot all the way back, coming into crescent lunge. Same thing we did on the left side. Big breaths in, big breaths out. And then we start to twist. Next, exhale, the left arm goes forward, right arm back. Inhale, come to center, switch sides. Just twice on each side, rotating deeply from the core space. Inhale to come up, exhale to twist. Nice work. And then finding an exhale breath to draw the hands down to the mat. Step the left foot behind you. Take a vinyasa that works for your body. Meeting us in downward facing dog. Those hips are high. Gaze between the shins. Pedal out for a moment. Inhaling to reach the right leg all the way up. Option to flip your dog if you really enjoyed that or draw the right knee to the left elbow. You can hold and squeeze here or find our fallen star pose. Extend the right leg long, the foot plants, hips stay high, left arm reaches towards the sky. Nice work. One more inhale, exhaling, draw the left hand down, reach the right leg all the way up and behind you and then step it through to the front of the mat for crescent lunge. Inhaling to reach the arms all the way up. We're somewhat reversing the work we've already done. From here, we're going to fly into warrior three. So last time we stepped back, this time we're flying forwards. Use your core, left leg is strong and behind you, arms are flying. Now with control, drawing the left foot into your thigh or into your calf space for tree pose, grow those branches, nice long spine. And then drawing the left knee in towards the chest to massage out in the hip flexors. Now option to twist. If you would like to draw the right hand to the knee and then start to send the left arm behind you, gaze back. Amazing work. This is a hard balance. Choose this if you feel ready to progress. When you're ready, coming back to center, releasing the leg, beautiful work. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant the hands, step back. Allow your body to hinge forward as you lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, downward facing dog. Now coming here onto the left side, reach the left foot all the way up, stack the hips. Option to flip the dog or draw the left knee to the right elbow, fall in star as you extend the left leg long and ahead arching the spine, reach the right arm up overhead. Exhaling, the right hand comes down, left leg lifts all the way back up, and then stepping through for crescent lunge. Finding form and strength here for a moment. Like we did on the other side, we're kind of going backwards from that first flow we did. You'll start to fire up into the left foot as your torso hinges forward. Begin to fly the right leg into the air for warrior three. At any point, if you feel wobbly, your hands come down to the earth to gently catch you. When you are ready, bringing the right foot into the left thigh or lower leg to find your tree pose. Inhaling the arms, reach up, focus on the spine, really lengthening here. Big inhales, big exhales. And then with control, drawing the right knee in towards the chest. Option to stay here or find your twist. Left hand catches your right knee as you start to send your right arm behind you. Rotating in the center spine and core space. Gaze back if it feels okay. And then exhale to release, come back down to center. Amazing work, inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold, come down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale to plant the hands, stepping both feet back. Hinging back and forth here for a moment. As you inhale onto your tippy toes, shift forwards. Exhale, push the heels back. Waking up the feet a little bit, move with your breath in and out, forwards and backwards. Our feet work hard when we balance. Let's give them a bit of a stretch here. The next time you hinge forward, move through your vinyasa. Exhale to lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, we meet in downward facing dog. Great work. 
Inhaling the right foot high to the sky, stack the hips. We're familiar with this pose. Option to flip your dog here. You can find fallen star once again. Find what feels best. Really arching in your back wherever you are. And then coming out of this pose, right leg lifts and then steps forward. This time for warrior two. Arms up to a T shape. Beautiful breaths in and out. Finding a new balancing pose here next. Take your time with this one. The transition might be harder than the pose itself. When you are ready, first start by coming to side angle, right arm to your right thigh. And then looking down in front of your right foot, place your right hand before you kick the left leg into the air for half moon. Your top hand can come down to support you at any time. Just playing with a little bit of fun here today with balance. All right, with your next exhale, squaring off the hips, you can bring your hands down for support. We're coming into warrior three, getting familiar with this pose. Notice if the right leg's starting to bend, try and keep it straight. Then with control, stepping the left foot back, crescent lunge. Twist again if that feels good. Right arm forward as you exhale, left arm back. Inhale, reach to center, switch sides. One more time on each side, just twice. This helps with those standing rotations that perhaps you're trying on when we balance. With your next inhale breath, fly back into warrior three. And then slowly start to draw the left foot into your tree pose position of choosing. Inhale to reach the arms. Keep grounding deeply into the roots of your right foot. Amazing work. Closing the left knee off into center. Squeeze it in. Option to balance like we did before. Knee bent or dial it up one more notch. Reach your right hand to the sole of the left foot. Straighten the leg and then twist to look back. Amazing work. Coming into a bent knee at any point if this starts to feel like too much. Incredible. When you're ready, untwist. Come back to center. Shake it out. Inhale. Reach the arms all the way up. Exhale. Hinge at the hips. Come down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant the hands, hop or step to the back of your mat. Move through a vinyasa, exhale to lower down. Inhale, shine that heart. Breathe out, hips high, downward facing dog. You are doing incredible. More than halfway through here. Inhale, left foot high to the sky, stack your hips. Perhaps you're gonna flip your dog here or find your fallen star posture. Or simply stay stacking those hips, practicing being open. With your next exhale, unflip your dog. Meet us in your warrior two posture. Left foot is forward. Right foot grounds. Hips face the side. Arms to a T shape. Breathe in and breathe out. Knowing what comes next, flying into half moon. Start with side angle pose. Left arm to your left thigh. With control, look down at your left foot, left hand for support, kicking the right leg into the sky. Really trying to stack your right hip on top of the left here as you progress and grow in this posture. With control, use your next inhale to transfer into warrior three. Hips are square to the earth, right leg is behind you. We've been here many a times today. Using an exhale breath, step the right foot down, crescent lunge. Twisting again here if that feels good. Right arm behind you, left arm forward, breathe out. Inhale, reach high. Right arm forward, left arm back. Keep moving with your breath. Stable, strong lower body. Nice work. Inhaling to reach up and then hinging for it again. Warrior three. Getting good at this now, or the legs are starting to get tired. Be patient with yourself. It's all a practice. With your next inhale, coming to tree pose, right foot somewhere into the left thigh or leg. Reaching those arms high, grow your spine. Big breaths in and out. Don't forget those inhales. And then drawing the right knee either into your chest for the bent leg twist, or maybe you straighten in your right leg. Left hand meets the leg somewhere. Right arm is behind you. Your gaze is back. Amazing work, releasing, coming back to center, take a great big breath and reach tall, exhale, hinge forward, that is balancing done. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant your hands, step your feet to the back of the mat, hinge through a vinyasa, meet us in downward facing dog. 
still some more time together, just those big balancing poses have come to a close. Couple breaths to reset in your downward facing dog. You've done incredible work so far. Take as many tiny little steps to the top of your mat when you're ready, coming to a forward fold. And then right away, squeeze the thighs together, ukatasana chair pose. How could I forget to incorporate this into any single class? Never ever. Sink really deep into the glutes. All right, that's a lie. Day two, we didn't do any chair pose. With control, exhaling down to your glutes, coming into dynamic boat poses, exhaling to extend, inhale to come together. Use your core, the strength of your body. Your hands can come down for support if you need it at any point. Otherwise, keep breathing, keep extending, keep drawing the chest and thighs together. Nice work, just about done. Catching the backs of your thighs, take a couple rocks and rolls forwards and backwards. We're going to use the strength in our lower body to come up to a stand. When you're ready, grounding in the feet, pop yourself up, ukatasana chair pose right away. Draw those shoulder blades behind you. This is how we are emptying out the tank today. Stay with it. Second and last chair pose. Amazing work. Exhale, lower down right away into your boat poses. This is the last bit of really tough work. Inhaling and exhaling to move, to extend, to come together. Slow and controlled. Keep breathing, keep moving. Almost there. Don't give up. You have got this. Such great work. Stay with it. Last one. Incredible. Draw the knees into the chest. If you are ready for some R&R &R right now. You can lie here landing in Shavasana, just breathe. Or if your body feels up for just a little bit more, a bit passive of movement, we'll start by coming into bridge pose, grounding in the heels, arching in the back, rounding in the shoulder blades, make sure that the shoulders are making more contact than the neck. Option to stay here or to come into wheel pose, palms face backwards, up overhead, bend in the elbows, and then push your stomach, your spine, your chest high, making a nice deep curve. One more inhale, exhaling to lower down from whatever posture you've been in. Windshield wipering the knees from right to left to neutralize in the spine before we try it once more. If you've never tried wheel before, it's one that I recommend to proceed through with caution. Maybe wait until someone's around to support you. If it's part of your practice, when you're ready, you can pop right into it or coming into bridge pose, lifting in those hips, grounding in the feet, you can stay here. Take what works best for you. And in either pose, really notice what the knees are doing. They want to splay apart, use activity, muscles in the thighs and glutes to draw them towards each other. Incredible, one more inhale. Exhale, lower down again, knees from right to left to reset. And then last bit of time here together, inhaling first into waterfall position, legs are into the air that you can stay here or coming into shoulder stand. It's really important here if you're in shoulder stand that you focus on your body, don't look to your screen if it's beside you. We don't want too much contact into the neck. In shoulder stand, the hips are really high. If you need to see me do this first, pause the video or pause your movement, watch it and then do it at your own time. Coming into plow pose, if that feels good, you lower the feet all the way overhead, legs are straight. Now the reason I offer caution here is that sometimes pressure can be put into the upper back, the neck space, and that's a place we wanna be really delicate. Wherever you've chosen to be when you're ready, come out of this pose, draw knees into your chest, and then rock yourself up to a seated posture. You are done. Amazing work today. Thank you so much for playing with balance on your mats for an incredible day five. I can't wait to see you for day six where we roll out a freedom flow. More similar to day one, this will be a fluid practice that really allows us to dance through our body. We've done several days of hard work with some static holds. This will be a day to playfully move. 
Thank you again so much for being here. A reminder to subscribe so that you get notifications and updates on new content. And if you are being social with your progress, feel free to use the hashtag yoga with Corey. And if you're posting to a story, feel free to tag me in it at yoga by Corey. Thanks again. See you tomorrow.